Hello and welcome to this beer clipper video. Now, regular viewers will know just how much I love making things for Rosie, my daughter. And this video is about a clockwork dragon, which I 3D printed and painted up for her birthday, for her third birthday. And spoilers, she absolutely loved it. So at the end of the video, there'll be photographs of the completed item. And also there will be pictures of Rosie getting it on her birthday. And yeah, she really, really did like it. Uh, but it was also a really nice little build and just goes to show what a 3D printer can do in terms of giving you the opportunity to make personalized gift for people um, and really do it something special and, and, and loving for your family. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been the most joy I've been able to get out of that printer anyway, is doing things for her. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to uh, hear from you. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you again at the end. A couple of weeks time, it's gonna be Rosie's birthday. And I printed out this clockwork dragon and I've decided I'm gonna try and get it painted up in time as a little kind of surprise gift. I like to give her something I've made, uh, not just bought because um, there's thought gone into both obviously, but there's a lot of thought gone into this. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and paint this up um, in time for her birthday in two weeks time, literally two weeks today, wow. So yeah, so I've primed it, stuck it to a tongue depressor as you can see, glued it to a um, uh, and primed it up with grey uh, and I'm now going to get stuck into painting it. I will do relatively regular updates but not a painting video on this, um, just to talk through roughly what techniques I've used. Um, but yeah, I really like the print, can't remember where I got it from, I will if I find out then I'll try and remember and put it into the link below. Um, but yeah, just can't for the life of me remember where I got this from. I think it might even have been from the same guy as I got the gingerbread dragon from. That's, that's itches, I think it is the same guy, but I'm not totally sure. But anyway, Rosie will love this. I'm absolutely sure she will. So I've had a lot of fun this week painting up my clockwork dragon for Rosie. As you can see, I've made a really good amount of progress. It's not quite finished the paint job, but very, very close to finished. Uh, I've picked out our three favorite colors. Um, Rosie's favourite colour is orange, mine is green and Angela's is purple, so you can see highlights of that throughout the, the build. Uh, I'm about to print the base to go with this, one of the base toppers I backed a Kickstarter ages ago. Forgot about it and just remembered, and there's a good looking base that will work well with this. So I'm going to print a base to stick it on, uh, it'll be a bit easier and it will be fitting in with the steampunk theme, which is cool. And uh, yeah, when I've got that printed, I'll show you it and then we'll get it painted up. Uh, it's a uh, week today is Rosie's birthday, so I'm, I'm on time. I'm, I'm not going to be late uh, and hopefully she's going to love it. Well, here it is, the base for the dragon for Rosie. It's printed out pretty well. Uh, I didn't quite support that back corner, as you can see, didn't support that corner enough, uh, which I'm annoyed about because I was def definitely tried to, but I must have just slightly misclicked. Uh, but it's OK, it doesn't actually affect how it looks. It's going to be at the back. Uh, and the dragon is going to be put here. So I'm going to mount the dragon here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll paint it all up. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to mount the dragon before painting or not. Uh, but I'm going to um, get everything about that and uh, get it primed and painted. And uh, I've got less than a week now, so I need to crack on with it. Uh, but I'm really pleased. It's a really nice base. This is a base topper. Uh, there was a Kickstarter ages ago that I backed. I nearly forgot I, I had it. So uh, yeah, it's good to make use of this and I think that'll look really, really nice. So that printed off in the new location for the printer inside the tent. Um, and the failure was my fault, not the, uh, it wasn't an uneven surface. So that's really good. Tomorrow is Rosie's birthday party and the next day is her birthday. And I've got it finished. I've, I've varnished it up this morning. And I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. I've got our three favorite colors. Orange is Rosie's, purple is Angela's and green is mine. So uh, they feature prominently. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with how it looks and I, I really hope she likes it, I'm sure she will. So I'll give this to her on her birthday, not before, so I'll give it to her tomorrow. But that can be a, a nice little surprise, it's another little addition. And I do so love making things for her. And I'm just pleased I've got it done in time, I th I, as I said, I'm very happy with it. So there we are, the Clockwork Dragon uh, is there for Rosie's third birthday.
Well, there we go. The joy on her face and the excitement that she had when she saw it was a, uh, just a joy for me to behold. Uh, and even now she has it on her shelf in the bedroom and she gets, uh, asked to look at her, her dragons, the uh, gingerbread dragon, which I did for Christmas, and now this one. Um, and yeah, it gives me great joy and great pleasure to see how much she loves it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's just been a short one. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, I, as I said, Really appreciate the fact if you've managed to make it this far that you do watch my video, so it means a lot to me. So as always, I'll wrap up by saying please do stay healthy, stay safe, and stay well.